and Facebook. So we are live on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, as you guys probably know, uh, I'm recording a 30 day online business training where I'm helping you create a $10,000 a month online business. So I'm recording one video every single day. I'm coming live here usually in the mornings to teach you everything I was live today. But um, we're, I was speaking with my friend Fabian and he said, well, and we thought that it would be super, super cool to create something that, uh, that's complementary uh, to the 30 day training, meaning that it goes side by side with this training and it's a uh, traffic training, right? So what we're going to be doing is very simple, right? For the next 30 days, I'm going to be coming live, teaching you how to build a 10K a month online business. But at the same time, Fabian is going to be coming live as well to teach you about traffic right because you're gonna be need visitors to your website you're gonna be you're gonna be needing people to see your product or service that you're selling so this module let's call it module or trainings are gonna be about traffic right and and fabian is a beast on paid traffic he's managed millions of dollars in paid advertising he's really really humble but 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 he's a beast and um and there's no better person to to help you with this than than this guy so Without further ado, let me put a, a really cool intro song, Mr. Fabian Cordoba. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? Thank you for the <laughs> badass intro, man. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for uh, allowing me uh, this time to be here. Also, Sebastian, for uh, allowing me to just share here. Honestly, this is, this is just going to be uh, 30 days of so full traffic mode. So if you guys are interested, don't hesitate. Share this with anyone right now. If you guys are live and you need help with traffic, I'm just gonna be uh, breaking down the simple terms on how to get started with traffic, complementing what Celestin already said about how to generate $10,000 a month with an online business. So the easiest way to achieve that, of course, we're gonna be going in depth with, uh, within different subjects, but the, the most important part is that you need to understand that paid traffic is the fastest way you can scale your business. So without further ado, I just wanna start talking about specific concepts and examples that will allow you to understand what's the best way to apply uh, paid traffic, right? So um, let me just get this erased so I can take advantage of the space. Um, and please, like, if you have any questions, of course, I haven't even gotten started, but just feel free to be there and start asking questions. So uh, let's start with, uh, you know, this is going to be your website. For example, it's, let's see, website. Okay, so everybody has a website, has a Shopify store, has a funnel, has a sales page. You, you can have anything. At the end of the day, this is your business. But the most important part, it's, how you're going to drive people towards your business. Because what if you're just getting started? No one knows you. And yeah, you can start doing uh, you know, um, advertising organically and stuff, but the most important part is that we have 4.2 billion people on the planet and Facebook has four, like uh, the last time I checked, like 3.5 billion accounts. So you can imagine how many people have Facebook in the world, but it's not only Facebook, a lot of different tools. So that's why I wanna really, make you guys understand that the business and your landing page and your uh, store or your funnel is one thing. The paid traffic, it's the complete different thing. So please just remember this part, but I'm going to focus on how you can drive money, okay? How you drive money straight to your business, okay? You can drive it in different ways and there are many, many, many tools out there. You can do it through Facebook, which is the one that I like the most, uh, for example, there's uh, Google, it's another one that is really good, SEO, and you can use also uh, YouTube, okay? So you can see that there are actually different ways you can actually send traffic to your site. Depends on what you're actually doing. If you're, for example, uh, if you're recording videos for content, I'll recommend you to do YouTube. If you're a, a physical business that it's actually looking for uh, clients in a day-to-day -day basis, I would recommend Facebook because you can be, you can, you know, get more reach. If you actually want to do SEO and you want actually people to, to be looking for your business in Google, of course, you have to do Google or you can do uh, uh, Yahoo, you can do Bing, any other services, but 
In this specific training, I'm gonna be focusing on Facebook because this is basically allowing us to scale massively. And we have done it, Sebastian has done it, like we, we do it every single time, but the most important part is how to do it uh, the smart way and without spending a lot of money and, and you know, nonsense, right? So that's why in this training, um, and just for you to understand, let me just put into context another example. So, um, Sebastian in, in his trainings, he has spoken about um, services. He said an example of how can I make $10,000, for example, selling services. He talked about uh, generating, um, let's say, creating websites and then uh, making a profit out of that. Okay, that's one type of service that you're doing. But let's say, for example, you're, um, you have a skill that, well, let's use the, the exact example, okay? So you are selling websites, okay? So let's say, for example, if you're selling a website, you need your website, right? So for example, now you have your website and you're a designer, and of course you can put all the information, you can make it as, as beautiful as you want with videos and everything, but the most important part is how you're going to drive traffic, right? So. Number one question, if you're looking for leads, if you're looking for potential clients, you need to know your numbers. And that's number one thing, and we're gonna get into this, it's, it's the mindset of knowing where to go without really losing track of the actual goals, right? Because you know, running traffic can get really stressful, and it actually is just really making sure that you're doing the things right, the right way, because if not, you, you can get into a, you know, a vortex of you know, wasting time and money, which is basically why we're here, so you guys don't do it, right? So, for example, how do you drive traffic? I really mentioned about Facebook advertising, because for me, it's um, top notch. Uh, I've been able to generate thousands and thousands of leads for myself, for clients, for other people, and it's the easiest way that we've been able to achieve it, okay? so. Just as an example, you can use this exact um, uh, you know, way, but the, the best way to do it, it's okay, if I'm um, doing websites, okay, try to focus in one niche. So you can really make sure that you're really targeted and you're getting really, really good at what you're doing. Remember the example that I had with all the different um, traffic sources? Please focus in one. And I'm gonna really, really ask you guys, focus only in one. You can't do Amazon, you can't do Facebook, you can't do Google. Well, if you have experience and you've already done it in the past, yeah, I'm not gonna say that you can't, but for those who are starting, really just focus on one thing and one thing only because you need to master this art. And believe me, I had no technical background, I barely knew how to use Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Sebastian laughed at me back in the day. I was literally a caveman. Like I, I knew nothing about technology for whoever who, who is out there. It really just relates to me. I don't, I'm not technical, doesn't matter. Because I'm breaking it down for you guys so you can do it the exact same way, okay? So I focus in Facebook ads. So I'm just using Fabian's example, what Fabian did. Okay, so I'm selling a service. Marketing services in my example, okay, or website services, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I picked Facebook. So what do I need to do from Facebook to drive traffic to this? People might say, oh yeah, create an ad. But yeah, how am I going to create a successful ad to drive traffic profitably here? A lot of people will say, yeah, just set up a campaign and start running traffic. Wait, I'm gonna ask you a question. And have you ever thought about how much you're willing to spend to acquire a client? A lot of people don't, right? But that's the most important thing that I want you to take out of this video. You need to understand clearly how much you're willing to invest upfront in order to get a client, and then you can monetize it. You can get clients at $5, $10, $15, $20, but if, for example, if you're selling a $250 product, you're already you know, in the profit zone, right? So that's why you need to understand clearly how much you're willing to spend. For example, in this example, let's say that my target cost is, uh, let's say, $10. It's like a six, let me just fix it real quick. So $10. So if I'm selling a website at $250, and if I get a client, how much I'm in the profit zone? Out the door, 200. Sorry, I don't wanna get in the middle, but let me just do it. Do this. So it's two hundred and forty dollars. So that's knowing your numbers before even diving deep. So that's why it's really important for you guys to understand numbers, 
first before launching your ad. Okay, so now that I understand what's my target cost, if I go over $10, I'm gonna pause the ads, I'm gonna relaunch and start over or, or analyze the data, which is even better and we're gonna get into this later, but it's really important to first know the numbers because if you start running traffic just because your credit card's gonna blow up and believe me, we've been there, it, it's not cool, you shouldn't do that. That's why knowing the math first, okay, it's the most important part. Then, now you know the numbers, okay? Now, you have to create your ad. But a lot of people are going to say, okay, how do I do an ad? Do I do an, ima an image ad? Do I do a video ad? Yeah, you can decide. At the same time, both work. But what do I really like to do is show my clients what I'm able to do in the first 10 seconds of a video. Because that for me has worked beautifully. And not only that, like I said, focusing in the specific niche. For example, I've worked with uh, dog trainers before and I can really make sure that I can help a lot of dog trainers, but I know the niche, but I really work in that specific niche to learn about their needs, how do they think, what they actually require to have a profitable business. So for example, I went in, let's say, the dog niche and I was working with dog trainers and what did I did? I started creating ads of a trainer literally handling the dog like nothing, like just someone in full control of your dog. Because for example, which one of you guys owns a dog and sometimes it's just dude barks a lot, it's just really noisy, jumps on people, like chews stuff, destroys your house. How many times you have been disappointed by your dog? So that specific feeling, it's what I'm showing in my ad to for example, get dog trainers to sign up for one of my services. That's another example. But that's basically something really important that you guys need to understand that if you're gonna be using traffic, it has to be with a sense. And just kind of a golden nugget out there. Something that I've been using for the past couple of years and works successfully is telling a story on your marketing. If you can relate to people, if you can connect those small little details on an ad, on an image, just really making sure that your message is getting across is gonna get you cheaper clicks more traffic, higher results. So just imagine if you can get, you know, 10 of these a day. 10 of these a day. So for example, you're spending $40 and you're making over a thousand, almost 2000, almost 2000 bucks. So this is the math, like really simple. This is how we can show you how to create a successful ad and really just limiting you're not limiting yourself on what you're currently right now because the most important part is guys if you're selling a service like we're talking right now the easiest way to do it is to paid advertisement so you can scale really really high and get those numbers you can start doing it yourself with one contacting people and whatnot but if you can get an automated program to do this through Facebook ads, you're going to be generating more profits every single day, guys. So basically, that's everything that I wanted to talk to you guys tonight. Um, this is just basically a tip of the iceberg. We're going to go into depth with a lot of different stuff uh, here on Facebook and Instagram paid advertisement. So guys, uh, if you have any questions, just put them down there. Uh, honestly, super excited to be here. And hopefully you guys found this valuable because honestly, um, when I started, I didn't have like no, like no, uh, no journey, no where to start. And basically this was just like a bunch of money that I spent that I want you guys to save. So hopefully, um, you know, this uh, training has been helpful for you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much guys. See you in the next training.